Hello lovers, in this video we're going to be going through the brilliant Dr. Edwards' predictions for AQA Biology Paper 2, this is our predicted paper for 2023. Now don't forget to go along with this video, there is the video walkthrough of the predicted paper that we've done. So what sort of clues the examiners are leaving you, what sort of things you should write for this type of question or this type of question. So not only is she teaching you all of the science, she's also teaching you loads of exam skills that you can go on and apply in the exam. So obviously Dr. Edwards or I, we haven't seen the paper, so we do not 100% know what is going to come up on the paper. However, if you are slightly stuck on where to start with your revision, these are the topics that we fancy. So this is the list we suggest that you start with, but please revise absolutely everything. So we really like you to look at muscles. Now there is a lot in here, so muscle structure, muscle contraction, the different types of muscles but this is a big topic we would like you to look at. Now there were lots of different things involved in this and lots of bits that interact so please you can go and watch the video where Dr Edwards explains all of this to you. Please take it really slowly and carefully. We would like you to look at all the nutrient cycles with a special focus on the phosphorus cycle and the way that it interacts with everything else in the ecosystem around it. Receptors is another focus area and one of the ones we really want you to focus on and I know I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of this but the Piscinian corpuscle. How close was I? Would you thumbs up or thumbs down on a pronunciation? Anyway the Piscinian corpuscle blah, is one we'd like you to focus on as well as looking at all of the other receptors. Now genetic crosses, these are one of my favourite things personally to draw whenever I was teaching this section. I absolutely love genetic crosses, all of the interactions. And then epistasis is one of the areas within this that we would like you to focus on. So all of the examples that you've learnt of epistasis and then being able to apply it to a new context because this is one of the ones that they can easily take the skills that you've learned in class and go, oh, here is a new context. Here is a similar situation. Can you draw the genetic cross and work out if epistasis has occurred? They can even link this area into some maths with your expected ratios. So the practical that we fancy for this paper is practical number eight. So your photosynthesis practical. Now, please revise all of the practicals very, very thoroughly. But when you're looking at any practical, make sure you can understand why you have done anything, anything that could change, any issues, any maths or any graphs that are involved in it. We'd like you to look at control of heart rate, so all of the, the parts that are involved in this and then linking it through to structure as well. We'd like you to look at all of the factors involving a population. Now there are lots and lots of things that could come into this. And one of the things we'd actually like you to focus on within the revising everything about factors that involve affect a population is actually predator prey relationships. This is another area where they could take the science that you know and put it into a new context. They could have an evaluate question or a compare question on this. They could link it through to reintroduction of a predator or a prey species to see how that affects the populations. One mathsy part we'd like you to look at is really understanding how to do chi-squared tests. Now this is quite, um, it's a thing that really really confuses people so we do have a whole large session for you over the membership side of the channel which you get as well as the video walkthroughs on how to do stats in a level biology and then the last thing that we'd like you to look at as a focus for this exam is genetic modification of organisms now there are lots and lots of different ways this could happen so we'd like you to look at all of those and again this is one of the ones they could put into a new context they could give you some data and say interpret this data or link it through to kind of like a moral or an ethical issue so there are lots of things on that list for you to revise. So that is where we strongly suggest that you start your revision, but please, as always, remember to revise absolutely everything. If you want a bit more support in revising for this paper, then the walkthrough is linked in the description down below. Ouch! This is why in some videos I write explain scratches. 